Hello, I'm Hari Krishna. I am from Advanced Human Manufacturing and Technology Center, ARTC, Singapore. I'm a development scientist here. I sincerely thank IEEE Sensors for accepting my paper and giving me this opportunity to present. We will now move on to the presentation. My topic is about a low-cost capacitance-based non-destructive evaluation platform for FMCG industrial applications. These, this slide shows the information about the paper. Dr. Andrew Alexander Malcolm and Cheng Feng are my teammates and the co-authors of this paper. Today's content involves industrial application areas, the problems in FMCG, the methods and challenges in FMCG, and the proposed solution of capacitance sensing, and some of the applications using capacitance sensing, and finally, the summary of the results. Broadly speaking, pharmaceuticals, machining, precision care, health and fitness, fashion, industrial process, food and beverages, and energy are some of the industrial application areas. Specifically, FMCG sector is heavily dominated by the food and beverage and personal care industries. As the product traverses from the production to retail, we encounter various problems. For example, during the filling and dispensing stage, there could be non homogeneity of filled products, varying material composition or powder caking. These products are usually filled through pipelines where there would be trapping of food particles or dust. This leads to contamination. Such products could be filled in packages which could be empty or not properly filled. This could also lead to waste rejects. The packaged products could be poorly sealed because of air leak or trapping of particles. Finally, a poor package or seal integrity could lead to loss in packet stability. This leads to food spoilage. So all these are some of the areas which could be exposed for capacitance sensing. Current methods and challenges in FMCG. Vacuum leak, bubble emission, dye penetration, pressure decay, spectroscopy are some of the many methods that are available and used for the different problems in FMCG. All these methods have high cost, involve a large, large processing time, leave large footprints, have large sample volume. Most of these methods are destructive in nature and are analyzed often using complex data analysis. So here we introduce capacitance sensing as a possible solution to overcome these drawbacks. Capacitance typically involves application of a low AC signal to a pair of conducting electrodes. The material under test forms a dielectric. So any change in the area of the electrode, the distance between the electrode and the material under test, or the nature of the material, that is the dielectric constant, affects the capacitance. Capacitance is non-destructive in nature, is fast, cheap, and provides the opportunity for inline implementation. To develop the sensing methodology using capacitance, it is necessary to analyze the topologies, modes, and configurations. Sensing topologies involve a simple isolated or floating mode, or two electrode system with the electrodes placed adjacent to each other, or in a parallel finger mode, or opposite each other in a parallel plate mode. It could be analyzed in a direct mode or a non uh, indirect mode, that is a remote mode, by placing the product in contact or in non contact with the sensor. The different sensor configurations allows in custom designing sensors for specific applications. Some of the configurations listed here involve rectangular, interdigitated, and cylindrical. There are many more designs available which could be designed based on the applications. Literature strongly suggests that capacitance has been used in industries. For example, displacement sensors is very common in all industries. Capacitive touch screen in phone is a very popular application. Proximity sensors are used for liquid detection, liquid film monitoring, and for object detection in industries. Some of the research also points out that capacitance has been exposed for analyzing the milk quality freshness. Base segregation is another problem in industries. This could be capacitively identified. Biosensors, wherein bacterial growth has been monitored using capacitance CMOS, shows that capacitance is quite sensitive down to nanometers. Here we demonstrate the low-cost capacitance sensing uh, using the off-the-shelf FDC evaluation booth, which is a multi-channel setup with with high resolution and shows real-time sensing. It can be integrated to make custom specific sensors. 
The objectives involve demonstrating the sensing capability, the different sensing modes, and the different sensing applications. The first application involves powder caking in the contact mode. Here we analyzed wood and cake powders using a flexible sensor patch, which was connected to the FTC module. This was done in a parallel finger configuration. From the real-time capacitance plot, you can see there is an elevated response in the presence of powder and a much more elevated response when there is caking. This occurs because caking causes an increase in moisture content and elevated moisture content automatically leads to an added dielectric contribution. This promises for in-situ real-time powder monitoring in food hoppers. The next application in non-contact mode was done for a solid and a liquid residue in solid and liquid residue in the floating mode. This was done using a proximity sensor on the FDC module. The plots here show the capacitance versus time for the liquid and the solid powder. Clearly, the addition of the residue really leads to an increase in capacitance. Post cleaning, it reverts back to its baseline. This was seen both for the liquid and the solid residue. The rise in capacitance is due to the increase in dielectric contribution from the solid and the liquid residue respectively. The possible application is to use this as a smart cleaning trigger for contamination detection in hoppers and liquid filling lines and nozzles. The other application was a non-contact mode examination of the sachets. Here we analyze both plastic and metallic sachets using the proximity sensor attached to the FTC module in the floating mode. The capacitance versus time plots clearly show that it is able to distinguish an empty versus a fill powder sachet as well as a low volume and a high volume powder. And similarly, it's also able to distinguish between metallic and plastic sachets. The clear differences in the capacitance show that it can be used as a fast screening for low volume or fill pouches. The fourth application deals with seal integrity testing. This was done in a contact mode. Here we analyzed the area, the seal area of the plastic sachets using an interdigitated electrode. Uh, the sachet was clamped between the electrode and an acrylic board using a load. This was done in a parallel finger mode. The real-time monitoring shows that a good seal area and much lower capacitance compared to a powder in seal area. This is because of the dielectric contribution of the powder towards the overall capacitance. So this promises an excellent application for in-line seal integrity testing. The final application involves milk examination in a non-contact mode. Here we use polyvinyl difluoride PVDF, which is a porous material capable of trapping volatile organic compounds. We basically used an external electrode which was connected to the FTC. The internal electric electrode comprised of the sensor patch involving the PVDF and the copper electrodes. This was done in floating configuration. We monitored the real-time capacitance over time. Clearly, the presence of milk elevates the capacitance. Moreover, as we progress further, there was a clear increase in capacitance. This is because fermentation caused an accumulation of headspace gas <coughs> above the milk. This leads to a rise in moisture level, which automatically translates to an increase in capacitance. This promises an excellent application for food freshness monitoring and product quality testing. To summarize, the technology we demonstrated is of low cost. It is capable of instantaneous sensing. It is highly sensitive. It can be operated in multiple sensor topologies as well as multiple sensor modes, that is contact and non-contact mode. The proposed system is of low power and low footprint. Its custom sensor design supports application development. So it is also applicable to a wide variety of materials and for several application sectors. I hope you like my presentation. Please feel free to ask if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you.